What God said to Jacob, he says to you, I am with you and I will watch over you wherever you go. What God said to Joshua, he says to you, as I was with Moses, I will be with you. I will never leave you nor forsake you. What God said to the nation of Israel, he says to you, when you pass through the waters, I will be with you. The good shepherd is with you and because he is with you, you can say what David said, I will fear no evil for your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Are you going through the valley of the shadow of death? Have those hands that clicked on this video to turn it on and watch it touched the cold face of a loved one? Have those eyes that are watching this video have fallen upon the breathless figure of a loved one? Are you passing through the valley of the shadow of death? Carrying the black bag of sorrows is hard to bear. But the Lord is with you as he was with Jacob, as he was with Joshua, as he was with the nation of Israel, as he was with Moses as he was with Abraham, as he was with all those men and women of faith. The thing is, we all want to be Daniel, shut the mouths of lions, sleep with them like sleeping with the sheep and wake up unharmed. We all want to pass through the Red Sea by just touching the Red Sea with our staff and parting the waters. We all want to be Noah to save a nation, at least save a family and save the generations to come. But when you read through Hebrews 11 that we're all familiar with, where it describes all the men and women of faith. We read on uh, through all those uh, people with great miracles, prophets, men and women of God who did wonders and miracles in their lives. Enoch, who didn't even experience death. Noah, Abraham, and all those people, Daniel, Moses, all those people that we are familiar with. And then you get to this verse, um, you get to this part of the chapter that talks about different types of men and women of faith that we don't often talk about. And we don't really want to be like them. Let me read from Hebrews 11 verse 35 to the end. Women received back their dead raised to life again. Well we like that one. There were others who were tortured refusing to be released so that they might gain even a better resurrection. These are men of faith. Some faced jeers and flogging. Remember, Jesus was one of them. And even chains and imprisonment. They were put to death by stoning. These are men of faith. They were sown in two. They were killed by the sword. They were about, they went, they went about in sheepskins and goatskins, destitute, persecuted, and ill-treated. The word was not worthy of them. 
They wandered in deserts and mountains, living in caves and in holes in the ground. These were all commended for their faith. Yet, none of them received what had been promised since God had planned something better for us so that only together with us would they be made perfect. You see, these people are men and women of faith, but they were killed, stoned to death, sown in two. Would you keep your faith? Would you keep your faith to the end? You're going through the valley of the shadow of death. You're suffering all sorts of things. Loss of the loved one, persecution, anything that I, I might say or not say, might think of or not think of, but well, you know it and your God knows, Good Shepherd knows all your life everything that's going on in your life he knows he knows better than you yourself know lay down that black bag of sorrows put your burden on Christ take his cross for his weight his load his burden his light would you do what God tells you to do I want to leave that with you I don't know what's going on in your life I know what's going on in my life and even that not fully because we only see in part then we shall see in full but what I see now in my life I am ready and I've made myself available to God to use in his kingdom for whatever purpose in his kingdom to develop them and this is not something new I have surrendered myself my life the entirety of my life to the Lord and I have proven over and over whenever God told me to do something I've done it I'll tell you in another video uh, some of the things that I did by faith. I took a step of faith and did things that I didn't want to do in the flesh. The things that I didn't want to do with my own understanding, worldly understanding, it was in fact wrong to do. And only years later, uh, found out that they were right and I was right to do them. They were the right things to do and I was right. And, and I was right in following the leading of the Holy Spirit. And I'm glad I did them. Now I'm glad, but then I wasn't sure. I was apprehensive. I was scared at points and unsure of what I was going to do. We are, we are again at a, a junction in our lives and God is asking us to move and we, as we have dedicated ourselves in my family to the Lord, to the leading of the Lord, to the leading of the Holy Spirit, we're prepared to put aside everything and go wherever God wants us to go. My wife and I will come and tell you a little bit more 
on that. Uh, a little bit about the past. We can't tell you all in one video. But we'll tell you a little bit about the past uh, and our experiences, if you like, with our walk with the Lord and how stepping out by faith have helped us in our lives and also tell you where we are now and what we plan or we want to do although we've left everything open to the Lord but we have put all the options on the table and we are asking the Lord to open the right path for us and show us the right path but what I wanted to do in this video is to encourage you that you need to do the same if God is opening the way for you and showing you the right path but you're stuck in your past you're dwelling in the past you need to move on remember what God said to Joshua in Joshua chapter 1 verse 2 reads Moses my servant is dead now then you and all these people get ready to cross the river Jordan into the land I'm about to give to them to the Israelites did you get the first bit of that verse now then Moses my servant is dead now then get up and go put aside he is dead stop moaning that's enough you've done enough moaning get up pick up your mat and walk it's difficult right now as I'm telling you this I have suffered the loss of two of my loved ones in the past 11 months my father and my uncle and it's difficult but we have to move on I'm preaching to you something that I should be preaching to myself maybe and that's what I'm doing because it's difficult but we have to move on Moses God's servant is dead now arise and with all these people with all your people get ready to cross the river Jordan wherever your river Jordan is if God is calling you to cross that river get up and go I have got up with my family with my people to cross the river wherever that river may be and whatever that river may be are you ready if you're not get up and get ready with all your people may God bless you be sure to watch our next video where we talk about uh, some of the things that we have done and some of the things that we are going to do by faith but remember by faith all these people also died even those people who did miracles and wonders they still died by faith and in their faith they didn't lose their faith they stayed in their faith till the end may God bless you and be with you until next video goodbye